What's good? It's your boy Big Mike, aka B Mike Rob. It's definitely going down over here. A lot of footwear, you already know. Feature Friday is definitely going down once again. And we got a great, I'm gonna call him an artist because he's an all around dancer as well. But he goes by the name of Showtime. Showtime, let everybody know what you've been doing and your name, who you are. So uh, my name is Alex Perez. I go, you know, people know me by Showtime, Showdown. Um, I've been in the dance industry for, you know, quite some years now. Started about like 10 years ago. Was really big on YouTube, was doing a bunch of jerky, you know, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. doing all the street dance. And after a while, I decided to get serious with my training. So I started dancing with a hip hop company here in LA. Started training in whacking, popping hip hop. And then I decided to kind of transfer when I got a, I got a full scholarship to go dance at Alonzo King Lines Ballet in yes. San Francisco. So I went out to the Bay Area. I lived out there for like two and a half years, so I was training. Oh, wow. Okay. I was training under um, like a really, really big um, contemporary ballet school. Okay. So okay. Um, I started getting in touch with like a technical aspect of dance that I was like not aware of. And I, I started to enjoy the way my the, body felt doing it kind of. Yeah, yeah. Like just because I've always been in touch with like moving. So jerking kind of came first and it definitely gave me that confidence, boosted my ego. Mm -hmm. And then I had to kind of like learn how to like go the opposite direction and I think yeah, yeah and that's yeah. that's one of the things to me is that because when I when I saw you back in the days and you, you know and you were you were you were you know you were doing a lot of jerky you were doing a lot of locking you were doing a lot of popping as well but when I when I saw you and then I when I saw as as you grew I looked at looked at you on um I think I saw you on YouTube and I'm like wow he's a all-around dancer so the contemporary and like you said ballet came into play yeah, so it kind of like when you started out with the jerk movement, like you said, it boosted up and inspired you to go look for the look for the art of dance. Yeah, and that it's opened up your mind. And I was like, man, I can't believe. I'm honestly, it was, <laughs> I was telling, I was telling my boy Hector, you know, because we talk a lot of times when it comes to like about you about the kids and you guys when you guys were kids and you guys growing up. Yeah, but it was like you really stood out because of the fact that you mastered the art of dancing. Because you did a lot of different, you know, genres. Yeah. And, then, and you wouldn't see a lot of hip hop dancers go take ballet. Yeah. You're just yeah, not gonna yeah, see yeah. that. You know what I mean? So for, for you to do that, man, I commend you and yeah, and kudos you. to you, man, because that's thank what you, it's all you. about. That's what yeah. it's all about. It's interesting too, you know, still being like, still being this like figure for a lot of people back in the day, and then like I still get all these DMs, or I still getting a lot of like Facebook messages, YouTube messages, like people asking me like. Please hit the Dougie one time. Hit the like, Dougie, exactly. King like, of Dougie. Like, please hit your footwork. Yeah, because, you know. Like, or the pin drop. Or you know, the pin drop. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. it is, the pin <laughs> drop. <laughs> yeah, doing a lot of pin drops, you know, like, yeah, it was crazy. But it's definitely it's, it's definitely just, like, made me, like, appreciate movement in just different ways, you know, because, like, I didn't know what it was like to be a ballet dancer or what it was like to even be in a ballet class. That's you know, and because I was I was a street dancer for so many years. Mm -hmm, I was just mm -hmm. dancing in the streets, like, making up moves on my own, like, not realizing where things come from and like who invented certain moves, you know. So it was it good was, to, to educate myself. I, I was gonna say you educated yeah. yourself and and you kind of came up with your own genre of things. So yeah, that's yeah. good. So so uh, let us know what you know about because you've been with Velado for a while. So how did you link up with Velado? Oh man, I think this was like what 2010. Okay, okay. 2010, me and uh, me and Marvel Inc., which was my crew for back in the day. Anybody, anybody remember? Shout out to Marvel Inc. Yes. Yeah, back in the day, Marvel, Marvel Inc. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So so we won the first ever um, show down in LA, which was mm -hmm. in 2010 at the LA Convention Center. We battled against 48 different crews, I think it was. Yeah. And, it was uh, a lot. Yeah, we got first place, which was pretty crazy. But after that, Velado um, became our sponsors. We started working with them. Um, I became like also like an individual artist for them and I started doing a lot of like side work for them we, I eventually went to China. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Dance on the Great Wall. Um, yeah, Dance on the Great Wall Which is who can say that you know, if I, yeah. I'll probably fall off the mind yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy, but uh, yeah, but a lot of it became a part of my You know a part of my artistry and a part of, like a support I think because yeah, they, they really did give give me um Opportunities that I just you know I would never come across if it wasn't for them. So that's what's definitely up. grateful. Um, they also just like always kept me on my toes with dance. They always like gave me something to believe in, which was like myself. But you know, with having them believe in me was a little bit different. Yeah. So um, so yeah, I, I started working with them back in the day. Still rocking with them now. Um, honestly, and everybody who works for Bellotto is just great. Like the people here are amazing. We appreciate that. Bro. Um, yeah, Hector, Jill, you know, everybody's everybody's. That's great. what's up. That's what's up. So, like, because, you know, Velado is, we're all about uniting, you know, everybody through dance and music. Right. So, like, what kind of inspiring words would you give to people out there, you know, from yourself as a dancer as well? 
Um, I, w I would say always believe in yourself, you know, I think sometimes it's really hard coming from different backgrounds and like sometimes you might have parents that don't really understand your artistry or you might have friends or you just might have people around your life and I think it's always great to believe in yourself and know that even though some people don't understand like there's always going to be people out there that one day will come together and will like make you realize that you are amazing I don't know if that yeah. makes sense but like and then um so yeah believe in yourself believe in your height believe in your color believe in like your gender your identity who no you matter are what it is. no yeah. matter what who you are and stick true to it you know why because like growing up it can be really hard with like people trying to influence you and like make you be somebody you're not but stick to stick to who you are truly i think that i'm glad matter. you said that to uh that you know growing up because you you definitely it's a it's it's just a true statement because it's kind of like show me who you hang with, I'll show you who you are. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, so exactly. I definitely understand that, and, and we appreciate you, man, and also being a part of the Velado family. Thank you. Because yeah. that's that's exactly what we are. We are a family, you know, and um, yeah. and us being a family, you know, we put each other on the spot. So, <laughs> <laughs> so this is Feature Fridays, and we normally ask a dancer or an, an artist, can they freestyle something for us? So right. is that something that you were willing to do for us here on Feature Friday? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. That's what's up. So before we do that, though, let everybody know who you are and, and <laughs> again and, let, and how to get a hold of you. So uh, my name is Alex Perez, also known as Showtime Showdown. You can get a hold of me on Instagram. My Instagram is at Alex, A-L-E-K, double S, period, Perez, P-E-R-E-Z. I have a bunch of stuff I've been working on. I'm doing a lot of dance films. I'm also just collaborating with a bunch of big dancers. So um, hopefully you can follow me, follow my journey, and yeah, just stay tuned. That's what's up. That's what's up. We appreciate you, Alex. Yeah, We're going to be back. Alex is, we got to clear this. We got to move this around because <laughs> Alex will get up on this table and pin drop. But I don't want the table <laughs> destroyed right now. But we're going to come back, and he's going to freestyle us something. That's what it is. And with that being yeah. said, it's your boy Big Mike, a.k.a. B. Mike Rob. You already know Vlado Footwear. Feature Fridays. Alex Perez is getting ready to give us a showdown right here at Velado <laughs> Footwear. You know you can't spell Velado without the L.A. That's what yeah. it is all day, every day. Let's go!